Hey guys, my name is Andrew Perlout with Renaissance Humans. Today we're talking about vegans getting weaker bones and suffering more bone breaks than omnivores. Uh, we have talked about this before. I've done an, uh, a pretty extensive video and article talking about uh, the fact that this happens, the data showing that this happens, and uh, talking about why this happens and what you can do to make sure it doesn't happen to you if you're eating a vegan or plant-based diet. Uh, we're not going to retread all that ground. Today, uh, actually the reason I'm making this video is because a new study just came out that with more statistical certainty, uh, because of the number of, of participants drawn on and the quality of the studies, um, has really just reinforced just how severe of a problem this is. So we're going to briefly go over that as well as kind of shoot down uh, some of the objections that uh, the the people who go la 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 I don't hear you uh, usually like to draw out as a way of trying to just being like oh, you don't have to worry about this vegan diets are the healthiest diets in the world you don't you don't have to worry about weak bones uh, you, you do <laughs> you do the science is pretty clear that you do. Um, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna kind of address uh, a few of those things. So uh, let's get started. In a number of ways, vegans have it really good in the health department. Lower rates of type two diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, less likely to be overweight, a lower incidence of several types of cancers. But in some areas, there is reason for concern, like these slightly lower bone mineral density numbers, which if they existed by themselves, probably wouldn't be all that concerning because there might not be any clinical relevance. A number of studies over the years have found that vegans have more bone fractures and breaks than omnivores, but several have also found that there was no significant difference. So that's where this study comes in. This is a meta-analysis or a study of studies which seeks to shift through the noise and find out what's really going on. They started off by finding 275 studies that compared bone mineral density and fractures of omnivores, vegetarians, and vegans. But upon examining these studies, they found the vast majority were pretty junky of low quality and they did the smart thing and threw them out. This left them with 20 high quality studies looking at 37,000 participants. Once again, the researchers found that bone mineral density was lower in the vegans. At the femoral neck, which is a predictor of uh, hip fracture risk, uh, the vegans were 5.5% lower, and at the lumbar spine, 7% lower than omnivores, which those single-digit differences, you wouldn't think they would mean much. But it translated into a lot more breaks, a 43% increased risk of a bone fracture compared to the omnivores. So one of the objections that uh, people have to this data is that allows them to go la 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 is that um, They'll say like, well, these are average vegans, they're junk food vegans, they're not like me, I eat a McDougal diet or a Furman diet or a Esselstein diet, uh, you know, these vegan diets that are super healthy, I just don't have to worry about this stuff, that's for them, this is for me, I know that I'm healthy enough to not have to worry about this. Well, see, there's a little problem with that, and it's called confounding variables. So um, you may be aware that when people look at studies on comparing vegans and omnivores, usually the vegans have a smaller risk of disease, uh, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, cancer, a variety of other diseases. And... So the vegans look at that and they say, well, it's the vegan diet. And the omnivores look at that and go, no, it's the confounding variable. So if you take your average omnivore and your average vegan, the vegan is more likely to eat healthier foods, more fruits and vegetables, is more likely to exercise, is less likely to smoke, drinks less or doesn't drink, and generally has a whole bunch of whole lifestyle factors that your average omnivore doesn't. So comparing the two can be challenging. Researchers will try to adjust 
for these differences and sometimes they succeed but it's hard to adjust for all of them and what ends up happening is that uh, often you know you just don't have a data set where you can do a good comparison and so this is this is the doubt that people the omnivores usually have about vegan diets but, but here's the vegan in this bone break study going like well they're not healthy enough these vegans that are getting these higher rates of bone fractures in the weaker bones well maybe they're not weak enough May, or may, maybe, excuse me, maybe they're not healthy enough. Maybe they're not as healthy as you, but they're healthier than your average omnivore, as, as people like to complain. So, uh, at the very least, you, can, you can't say that it's, this is the issue, because the omnivores are, are not doing any better than the vegans. They're doing worse than the vegans, and yet they have stronger bones that are less likely to break. So, really, this is just uh, not... A good complaint to have about this. So my suggestion, do the things that are gonna keep your bones strong as a vegan or plant-based diet eater. See my previous article and video for more information on how to do that. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this, guys. If you uh, get a lot of value out of the articles and videos I can create, consider supporting me on Patreon, and uh, I will see you later. Have a great day.